How do you do yeah. it? I get to pick. Yeah. I, just, I shoot him. I just shoot him. <laughs> Quickly. But you, you think a man after you be like, oh, I'm sorry, he's got dog shit on it. He'll be, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad for even bringing it up. <laughs> you know, I would prefer like with like mass shooters or people that kill people. I would prefer them kill old people. <laughs> I always wonder why they never went to like. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tommy Oler. This is Ann for What. Today we have a comedian, Henry Coleman, on yeah. the podcast. Yeah. Uh, Henry, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Tommy. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm always happy to see you. You're always uh, absolutely hilarious whenever you hit the stage. How was your show last night? Uh, the first show was good. second show sucked. Oh, we did it? <laughs> yeah, just kind of how it goes. <laughs> yeah. second show, awful. But, you know, the, the first show being good balanced it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we expected that. Cool. All right, you ready? Go for it. Okay. You're pulling a piano up to a third story apartment. Funny. The piano is hanging above 15 people, all grown ups. Suddenly, the rope snaps. You only have one moment to sway the rope right or left. One side is a boy talking about being a fireman one day, the other side has a girl talking about being a doctor. Mm. If you do nothing, the piano falls on the 15 people in the middle. Mm. Where do you let the piano fall? <laughs> yeah, I guess they all just perish. <laughs> yeah, they sucks perish, crushed by a piano. Yeah, it sucks for them. <laughs> so that's it. It's not even about the kids. <laughs> no. God made his decision. Yeah, because you're just working a job. It's not your fault. You know. <laughs> the cops, the firemen, whatever, they, they show up and they're like, what happened? Because you were the one like pulling on it. What, what, mm. do, you, what do you say? I go, oops. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oops. <laughs> I love that so much. If we talk about this for real, it's like I'm not the kind of person that values life based off of age. Yeah, okay. You know, I would prefer like with like mass shooters or people that kill people, I would prefer them kill old people. <laughs> I always wonder why they never went to like see your citizen homes yeah. and killed a lot of old people. Yeah. Yeah. That were on their way out. They would they always kill young, healthy people, which is weird to me, but yeah, I'm not really like, oh, they're young, they sh or you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. All right. You're a straight man, mm -hmm. but you can only get hard by looking at male ass. You have a girlfriend, and if you tell her this problem, you'll never be able to get hard again. What do you do to keep sleeping with her and keep her happy? Yeah, I just, I got to keep one picture or several pictures of man's asses in my phone that mm -hmm. I can scroll through quickly. Yeah. So I could, you know, like look at it and yeah. I guess I just gotta, you know, duck into the bathroom and get my shit hard before we have sex every time. <laughs> you gotta schedule. There's no, there's no spontaneous sex anymore. <laughs> or just get a favorite man's ass. I lock into my mind. Yeah. Do you have somebody? <laughs> no, I don't. No, no, I do not. No, no. <laughs> Now, so you're saying it don't because I'm thinking you. Th I'm thinking you're saying it has to be a naked man's ass. It can. It can be a it, clothed man's. It can ass. be a. Clo it just has to be a man's oh, okay. ass. So I could just get like a picture of Eddie Murphy raw or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Whenever he's talking about. Oh, yeah, man. exactly. Yeah, okay. You could just have, whenever he's like, is raw the one when he's in the red? Uh, both of them is like in a purple. Yeah, purple, leather purple and, and, and then red. red leather. Yeah, there's one where he's talking about gay men and he's walking around. And he's like, I don't want, I don't want gay men to see my butt. You can literally have a photo of that moment right there okay. where he's twisting and turning. <laughs> and he's like, I just love Eddie Murphy, and that can help you get there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you figured it out. Yeah, we made it work. You have a choice. Abortion is legal all the way up to five years old, mm. but you have to be the one to lethally inject the aborted kids. Mm. Or black people get reparations, but some forms of slavery come back mainly for refugees of war-torn countries. Which one do you do? The second one. The second because one? who cares about the refugees, right? That would mean the people coming here from Ukraine. It sucks for you. I guess it's just bad timing, right? <laughs> Shit. Bad timing. <laughs> Damn. Fuck, man. But we get reparations, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was an easy one for you. You're not even. <laughs> not even. I mean, you know, I, I'm. Heartlessness is not a talent. Um, I do care. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do care. I can't just say, like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I do care. And in real life, that probably would be hard to see. But, you know. That's essentially, we're already living like that. 
You know what I'm saying? Practically. Just, I mean, you know, we're already living with advantage while other people have a disadvantage. So it's, mm-hmm. we just, yeah. it's just not in our faces. Yeah, basically kept on uh, very low paying. You know, it's it's basically modern slavery is is basically that it it is right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I get I mean, that's a real, real deep answer. We're all slaves to the capitalist society we're under right now, I guess. Okay. (laughs) Next one, then. What would you rather do? Every sentence you say or type has to start with Cetus la motherfucking Petus or you have to kill seven dogs a week. The dogs have to die. Dogs have to die. What kind of dogs? Any dogs. And how do I kill them? That's up to you. How do you do it? I get to pick. Yeah. I I shoot them. I just shoot them. (laughs) Quickly. I get a, if I got a budget, I guess I'm going to get a dog killing hut, have that built, and maybe get a thing in the back to burn them. (laughs) A dog dog killing hut. Where do you get these dogs? You oh, I gotta fucking get the dogs myself. What, yeah, what? They're not bringing dogs <laughs> to you. You, you're the one that you have to do this in I order have to, to survive. Go find dogs to kill. We, we're wow. living. We're living in the real world here. <laughs> Is anybody giving you dogs right now? <laughs> so you gotta go get I'm dogs. Thinking somebody's gonna bring me the dogs. Whoever's <laughs> running this thing. Uh, sh- damn. What do you get? Seven? I mean, like you know, go to impoverished neighborhoods, and it's always dogs warming, warming, or go to shelters. Just adopt the dogs or you yeah, okay. Like, let me take the dogs for a walk and just never come back. Yeah, so the shelter's gonna catch on. This this man <laughs> this man just took fourteen dogs <laughs> two weeks ago. Now he's back. <laughs> he's back to get more dogs. You I'd say you'd probably have to open up a shelter. Wow. Okay. You'd have to be like, Hey, I'm the I'm the new Memphis animal shelter. I'm the new wherever. You just open the shelter yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then you just get people to bring you dogs that you just, you know, take care of, I guess. Mm. You call it taking care of. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. You are slowly turning into a cat. Mm. You can reverse this process by biting one unique person a day. However, if you reveal this curse, you immediately turn into that cat. What do you do? I guess I get a job where I'm. I'll, I'll be closer to people. <laughs> what what job is this? Probably an ambulance or a, <laughs> a doctor. That's so. You're a medic on scene. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then I do a thing where I have to tape something to them, and I just bite them every day. Like, oh, yeah. let me tape this to you. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you're gonna bite the tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You bite My them. Fault. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's just the easy one. <laughs> so you know, ambulance workers they don't work every single day. Sometimes they do like the. Well, I will face paint on my days off. I will face paint kids. <laughs> and you're gonna bite a, a bite a kid. If I gotta not turn into a cat, sure. Wow. Okay. You're in a Brewster's Million situation, but with dildos made of dog shit. You have to give away ten thousand dog shit dildos in thirty days. If you do this successfully. And with only one dildo per person, mm. you get ten million dollars. You know, I go place like uh, you know, you go place like San Francisco nightlife. It's all nightlife activity. Yeah, where I just set up a like a food truck type deal. Yeah, and I just hand out. I just say they're regular dildos. Yeah, and I just hand them out with the dog shit on. <laughs> <laughs> I just pass them out like, man, sorry. Not a dog shitted on you. <laughs> <laughs> when someone, when someone goes to you, hey, there's dog shit on this dildo, <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's what you then said. Then I just act, and I act as if I didn't know that. Like, yeah. oh man, that's crazy. Wow, insane. But hey, here's your dildo. Yeah, it's free. It's free. Yeah, but you know you've got a lot to give away. That's ten thousand in thirty I mean, days. Do you know how I many people, gay clubs and. You know, people out there, mm-hmm. nightlife, I could probably, yeah. I could probably unload 10,000 dog shit dildos in a weekend. What? I can, you talk about Dallas, you talk about Dallas, Houston, Nashville, Memphis, that's Bill Street. <laughs> I'm just good for a thousand dog shit you, dildos. You, <laughs> you think you can go to Bill Street and give away 10,000 dog shit dildos? I would go toward men. Of course, women are more you know, they, they're more into like shit being clean. 
So, but you you think a man after you be like, oh, I'm sorry, it's got dog shit on it. He'll be, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad for even bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, women be like, man, I'm not using that. But dudes are like, oh, that's no problem. <laughs> Oh crap! Because I don't know no guy that would turn down a dildo just because it's got dog shit on it. Yeah, I mean it's going in a place where there's already shit, so maybe maybe but that's why you. That's true, but you don't want someone else's shit in your ass. Hey, bro, I, you're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, especially a dog shit. But maybe some of these people will be like, you don't want someone else's shit in your ass. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's? Do you think there's?